Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I wanted to walk you through how to edit some of the elements, specifically the mini calendars on the weekly layout planners. Now remember there are five and not all of them have mini calendars. So let's open up the first one, which is weekly layout trio based on master page A and that's the name of the file. Now you'll notice the first thing you should do anytime you open any of my files is to go over here to the master pages. So if you go to pages and this flyout menu will appear if you just click it once. And if you don't see pages, just go over here to the top and go to view. I'm sorry, go to window and make sure that pages is selected. Now, once you are in here, everything above this line is your master page. And if you're not sure what master pages are, just go ahead and I believe it's lesson five in InDesign 101. And this will dictate what's going on here. So the way you can tell if a master page has been applied is that letter A is sort of hovered, uh, like superimposed on top of each of these pages. So all of these pages have master page A applied and when you hover over it, it even tells you so. And this page has nothing applied, so it says none applied. Now, if you have a master page selected, you first need to unlock that spreadsheet. So, or well, unlock the sheet. So what you're going to do is go over here to the top and you're going to go to object and simply go to unlock all on spread. And that will now make this editable versus before. The reason you have a master page is sort of to protect your pages so that edits cannot be made to what you have designated as your master page. Now, the important thing to note down here is this is a table. So over here, if I want to change that blue behind there, uh, First, I, well, I do need to be in the text tool, but more importantly, I need to go over to um, the, sorry, I don't need to be in the text tool. I need to be in the selection tool. And then once I select this object, you'll see up here at the top, uh, there's the blue. So that blue matches that blue. That's the, um, this is where I am going to change that color to, let's say a yellow. And now I can't see the text. So now I can go with the type tool, highlight over that, go over here, make sure the T is selected. And now I can change this, let's say to a purple. So now I have purple and yellow, uh, probably not the prettiest colors, but now I want all of these down here to match that. So they are all purple as well. So I can select those, go up here again, make sure I have the type tool selected and you can see it was blue. So now I need to change it maybe to a light purple. There we go. So that's how you change the uh, boxes down here. And remember, this is like a small um, sort of box where it has a sh like shading. Now, if you are not certain how to find that, sometimes if you go like just troubleshooting wise, if you go over here to layers and you can do this drop down menu over here. This will tell you which layer you have selected. Um, you know, it should tell you what layer you have selected. Uh, so this is February. Um, so if you toggle that visibility, so it's off, I know that I have selected the right thing. I'm on the right layer because obviously I can't see it. So this is the layer that we're talking about. So sometimes if I have difficulty trying to reach a layer, I can simply go over here to the layers, find the layer I'm looking for, right click, and then click select item. And now that whole item has been selected for me. And I know that because it is uh, highlighted over here and, um, now I can do anything I want with it. So I hope you found this helpful for Weekly Layout Trio A. Uh, let's go on to Weekly Layout Trio B. And for B, there is a small calendar. It's exactly the same. It's over here at the top. Same thing, let's look at our master pages. And yes, it is based on a master page. So I'm going to go to object and say unlock on all on spread so I can start editing it. And same thing, uh, let's make this uh, maybe maybe not blue. Um, 
So again, type tool selected, sorry, let me take a step back and put your cursor in there over here at the top right, you can see the bucket. So let's maybe make this something prettier, maybe just uh, like a lime and the text, it's kind of hard to read. So I'm gonna highlight that, go over here to the, make sure T is selected. And maybe I will just make this a, um, a pink. All right, and these letters down here, I want them to match. So I am going to highlight all of them, go over here to the text tool, and I'm going to go ahead and make those that same, is that lime green? Maybe a darker green, like, a, like this one. There we go. And there we go. So now I have changed my small little calendar over here to the left. Now let's go to uh, the weekly layout trio C. And over here in C, I don't have a mini calendar, but it's, you know, in case there's something you're trying to edit, same thing over here, you can see there are master pages and C has been applied throughout all of 2018. And I can go ahead and go to object and I don't have to unlock it because it looks like it is already unlocked. So we're all set. So I can go ahead, use my type tool and just start making changes. I could call this, um, you know, Miracoles, uh, I, I'm sure I'm, I have these out of our bonds or tea. You know, if I want to make this, if I'm French and I want to put this in French, obviously I need to put the days in the right order. But this is how you can make edits there with that type tool. I could also, with that type tool, I can change the font and the size and the spacing and everything else. All right, now we have a fourth layout and this layout does not have any sort of, first of all, it doesn't have, it has a master page, but this master page is blank. So I think that's kind of a misnomer that it says it has a master page. And in this uh, template, so you can simply make sure the text tool is selected and then you can just start making edits as you want. So I could just change this to to list, to do list or whatever I want to do. Now, if I wanna change the color of that box behind there, um, I do need to highlight this one because this one is different. It is not a table. Um, so I can go over here to the top and I can simply select, and let's say I wanna make this yellow and now it's yellow and I can't see the text. So I'm gonna go back and change that and I'm going to change the text to red. That is a really bad color combination, but at least you can see where I have made some changes. All right, so the fourth lay, or the, the, that was the fourth. The fifth layout is the one where I did a 30 minute video uh, on how to create this from scratch. So I think this one should be pretty obvious on how to make changes. You can just go back and watch that video. Uh, again, it does have a master page applied, but this master page is blank. So it doesn't, I don't know that it really matters. It's just a master page for margins and sizing. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you still have any questions or there's a particular element on any of these pages that you cannot edit, just let me know. Um, I want to make sure that these are not only useful for you, but something that you can start editing and customizing right away. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.